Greetings and salutations, cats and kittens. It's, well, me, Mark, marking out like I always do. I read an article. I didn't really want to watch the video. Apparently, the videos went wild, right? Viral. Not wild. Oh, wow, brother. Oh, yeah, dig it. Oh, no, no, no. Um, but it was a lady who actually was a part of the Mae Young Classic. I guess it was this year. Priscilla Kelly or Kelly Priscilla? I don't know. Two first names gets a little confusing. Here's the deal, though. All right. She did a match where they did a spot, you know. Uh, I guess she was trying to have her own Joy Ryan kind of moment where she whips out a tampon from her parts, if you will, and then crams it down her opponent's mouth. Now, they say that this thing is bloody. All right. Um, well, it's been get, catching heat. I... And then, you know, she's quoted in an article that I found on Facebook. I think it was like Battleground something, whatever. Um, and I read it, and she was like, well, you know what? There's a double standard in wrestling. And I, I believe that. There is a double standard in wrestling because she goes, Joey Ryan gets to put people with his penis. He may do that, yes. But that was actually, to me, the worst, uh, not the best example to go for. I think the fact that he can pull out his lollipop from his crash. So he's been one of those, like, why do you do that? But I, you know, in a way, you're like, huh, kind of cool, kind of not cool. But everybody's getting super squeamish over this. Now, keep in mind, a lot of people, oh, this is going to hurt the business. Rule number one, wrestling or any other thing, uh, there's no such thing as bad publicity. I don't think this is the most greatest thing. She actually said some other comments that might hurt her career down the road, too, I thought. But, um, a lot of people would say maybe Rikishi doing a stink face on people would hurt the business. A lot of people might say that when Pat Patterson did it with his shit-stained undies, might hurt the business. Or the time when the Raw had... Uh, May Young, I think it was. Yeah, May Young give birth to a hand. That could hurt the business. Or the whole Jim Ross crap. They were picking on him and had the head coming out the butt or something. I don't know. There's been a lot of gross things. And one of the grossest things I remember, and no one really likes to say any negative, negative to the guy, right? Not his idea. Well, kind of his idea. Uh, Draws, a.k.a. Puke. Remember because he could puke on command? I'm just saying, grossness happens, and boogeyman eating worms might be a little bit better than the tampon in the mouth, but not by much, not my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. This lady has a point. Now, I'm still thinking she overdid it a bit, my opinion, and the fact that she really was just trying to figure out how to get a pop, I just I don't think it was worth it. I really don't. And then her trying to defend herself, well, you know, it's all fake. All right, I don't think when you're in the wrestling business, you're supposed to use the F word when I say that fake. You know, everybody else goes predetermined, it's sports entertainment, but clearly I think she just was fed up and it might be affecting her booking too because here, here she is, she just got a great opportunity to do a one-off or whatever you want to call it, got the invite to do the Mae Young Classic, which guarantees you books, all right? It, it pretty much guarantees you some good bookings as long as you don't do anything stupid. Unfortunately, is this stupid? I don't know. I mean, is it too stupid? I mean, clearly she was just trying to get herself over any means necessary, but maybe the means was a little too unnecessary. Um... I can't remember her out of the thing because I didn't really watch that much of this year's May Young Classic. However, uh, people are definitely going to be talking about her now. We'll see what she does. It's not how you start off with things. It's how you land. And as long as she can figure out a way out of this, uh, I hope, I wish her the best look. I do feel like there is a double standard. Uh, you see how successful a wrestler like Stone Cold Steve Austin for drinking beer and doing the whole uh, whipping out fingers, doing that stuff. But yet his female counterpart, uh, ODB, 
No, not that much. Although, yes, yeah, she was well respected and did get a lot of championships. She had four title reigns in TNA. Uh, had a run or two in Ring of Honor. Never made it to WWE, not from my understanding, unless that's going to happen in the future. If so, great. If not, shame. For shame. You know, Amazing Kong, a.k.a. AKA Karma, looks like a beast. Jim Ross said there was no, that she would never have a future in the business. Had a great run in the independent circuit and in TNA. Phenomenal matches in TNA, right? Um, there's definitely a double standard, and it's a shame. However, tampon in the mouth spot leaves a bad aftertaste in all our mouths. Yep, I went for it. Cats and kittens couldn't help myself. Well, I don't know what to say. Uh, I think I said it all. Uh, what was another one? You know, I just want to touch on this one really quick. Uh, it's like, before I actually end this, Sexy Star. I like Sexy Star. Yes, shooting on people is bad. Breaking people's arms is bad. But, you know, Sid Vicious chasing after Arn Anderson with scissors. That was bad. Now, he did get in trouble for that. Lost, his, lost this, that, and the other. But he got to make a comeback. He got to, he served his punishment. It's good. I feel like uh, Sexy Star kind of got blackballed. And is definitely blackballed. You know, granted, she's doing other things, still having a career, doing stuff, and that's good. Love to see her come back to wrestling. I don't think that, uh, you know, making one huge mistake should be a lifetime ban or punishment, right? There's so many guys that did so many bad things. And he's a world champion. Shawn Michaels was not a nice person. Uh, and he has admitted that and asked for forgiveness and he's changed his ways and so many more and the Sandman was just a drunk and a bunch of other stuff I mean I'm not trying to be I'm not trying to knock on these guys because some of these guys I like and respect or at least enjoyed watching their matches uh, but yeah I'm trying to think of, oh yeah and the China thing you know yes Shady passed had a had a way too many drug problems and this, that, and the other, but deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Right? She reached out screaming help. She wanted to be part of wrestling. Again. Her cries for help are ignored. She was pretty much exiled from WWE. That's where she wanted to go. Other places tried to do stuff with her, and she did a little bit, but not much. But I think if WWE would have reached out to her, I think things might be a little bit different. I really do. They helped other people. They helped other people get back on their feet. But because of who she was to who she was with at one point in time, that's why she never got back in. There is a double standard. And it's a shame. May the forces of darkness get lost on the way to your house. This is Mike marking out. Trap safe. Ciao, Riva Bye.